was very much about young people coming together um, and gravitating uh, and trying to find a kind of an alternative lifestyle completely. You know, that's what I mean. There was, wasn't like how we integrate or how we didn't have ambition to be part of a kind of mainstream world at all. It was like, no, we wanted to create a, a, our own way of living. But of course, I mean, it's dependent on welfare and a whole bunch of other things. Mm. Um, but it's, you know, when you're 20 years old, I mean, you just don't think about anything and you just want to live that life. And it was pretty amazing, you know, yeah. like when I think back, just how free life was, you know, for at least I lived like that for like a good five years, you know. Uh, well, until I got into drama school, really, actually, was when I was 22, I think, when I got into drama school. But, but you know, like it, it was, it, it, it was, it didn't have the anxiety that is around now where people are so conscious of having to, you know, what is my, what's my career, you know, pathway. Um, you know, how am I going to afford to be a writer? I mean, they're not questions I ever even asked myself at all. I said, I wanted to, I am an artist. I want to be an artist. I'm going to live like one. It wasn't like, where do I get the money from? I mean, it just, <laughs> it just didn't, it wasn't a consideration at all. And so what's kind of freeing about that is that I didn't write plays that were commercially viable. I just wrote plays the way I wanted to write them. And I think actually that's the key anyway, yeah. like I, I do. I think you need to be true to what your vision is.